Are there any concerns about the government getting so much of this farm and field specific data? I think whenever farmers are polled about their concerns, you know, the, worrying about the whether the government will get the data is absolutely one of the top concerns, right? So I, I think it it definitely is a concern. Um, you know, is it a legitimate concern? I, it is if it, we're talking about certain agencies that have historically not necessarily been the farmer's friend, right? Like uh, EPA might be one of those. Uh, you know, with USDA, I think it's a little bit more of a mixed bag because obviously farmers get a lot of benefit from USDA. And so uh, like you think about crop insurance is an area where farmers very willingly share a lot of data with uh, RMA at USDA for crop insurance purposes, but they're getting a great benefit because of that. They're getting crop insurance and sometimes indemnity payments. So um, it's a worthy trade-off. So I hate to, you know, lump all the government together because I think I, I'm not seeing any numbers to suggest this is true, but my gut feeling tells me Farmers have different attitudes about sharing data with different types of government agencies, for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. And then in terms of, like, you mentioned that maybe the USDA, there's potential they could license out this data to universities for research and whatnot. And does the do they need to get any kind of permission from the farmer to do that? Or how does how would that potentially work? Uh, that's a good question. I, I think in general, uh, if it is a climate smart commodity grant uh, related um, project, then probably the farmer is consenting to share that data with USDA when they're participating and getting money as part of that grant. Um, and hopefully all these companies that are, got the grants have good contracts in place that explain that to farmers. I've worked with a few and helped them with that. And so I know that that's needed, but there are so many um, companies out there that got grant money. And I don't know if they're following that, you know, that those protocols or not, but they should be for sure. Um, it's worth mentioning too that you know, USDA can't necessarily lawfully share data that is farmer specific with, you know, a farmer's name, address, et cetera. They have to anonymize it usually uh, by law before it can be shared with anyone. So I would expect that's probably the case for most of the climate smart commodities data, too. Yeah, that's a, a good uh, protection, too, it seems like. Um, so anybody who's listening who has their own specific questions about um, how the USDA could use your ag data, make sure you attend Todd's classroom at the National No Tillage Conference on Wednesday, January 10th. And you can go to notillconference.com to register if you haven't already. 